If you turn on your Chromebook and it displays a message stating that the Chrome OS is messing or damaged, you can find more information by pressing the Tab key. Additional information will be displayed in the upper left hand part of the screen. If the recovery reason says no bootable storage device and system, it's possible that your solid state drive has come loose or is damaged. You will have to disassemble your Chromebook to inspect the solid state drive. If you need to create a recovery USB stick or SD card, you will need the model number displayed at the bottom of the screen. Yours may be different than this one. To disassemble your Chromebook, you'll need a small Phillips screwdriver and a tool to pry open the keyboard. This is called a spudger. It's made of plastic. Should also have a static control wrist strap, and it's handy to have several small containers to hold the various screws. First, hold down the power button until the Chromebook completely shuts down. To start the disassembly, turn your Chromebook upside down. You have to remove the 13 screws that are in the bottom of the case. Two of the screws are covered by these little round rubber pads. They're just glued in place so they should pop right out. And you can get to the screw. There are two more screws covered by these oval pads and they also will pop right out. There's one in this corner and one on this corner. Pry up the keypad using a plastic tool starting on either side of the trackpad. Work all the way around up to the screen. The hardest part is right up by the screen. Carefully lift the keyboard and you'll see two ribbon cables. They may be attached to the battery with some adhesive. To disconnect the battery cable, pull the connector straight out. Disconnect the keyboard ribbon cable by first flipping this latch up and then pulling the ribbon straight out. Next, disconnect the trackpad ribbon cable. This will also have a latch that you flip up and then pull the cable straight out. Now you can fully remove the keyboard and set it aside. Now remove the USB ribbon cable. Both ends will have the same latch that you flip up and pull the ribbon cable out. The speaker cable is on the left lower side of the motherboard and it will pull straight out. The cooling fan cable also comes straight out. The Wi-Fi cables are right here. There's a black and a white and they just pop straight off. Next I'm going to remove the three screws that hold down the battery. And now you can remove the battery.
Next, remove the screw that holds down the Wi-Fi card. And the Wi-Fi card should just pull straight out of the motherboard. Now remove the three screws that hold in the cooling fan. And then you can remove the cooling fan. There's a little PC board here on the right hand side of the screen near the hinge. You'll want to remove this screw. Now I'm going to remove the three screws holding down the motherboard. I'm going to put a piece of foam in front of the screen to protect it. And then to remove the motherboard, lift up on the right side and pull to the right until the ports are free. And then flip it up so you can see the bottom side. This is a solid state drive and it's held in with this one screw at the top. You just pull slightly forward on the solid state drive and it should come right out. This is the replacement solid state drive. It can only go in one way. There's two tabs on the bottom and one is narrower than the other. Just slide it into the connector and then hold it down and replace the screw. Now reinstall the motherboard. When you put it in, make sure that these ports go through the holes in the side of the case. To make sure the motherboard is in the proper place, there are two pins that are used to locate the motherboard. Now replace the three screws. Replace the screw in the circuit board on the right hand side. Reinstall the fan and the three screws that hold it in place. Insert the Wi-Fi card and replace the screw. And now reinstall the battery. and replace the three screws that hold it in place.
Replace the Wi-Fi cables. They should just pop right back on. Insert the cooling fan cable and press it into place. And the same with the speaker cable. Now reinstall the USB ribbon cable. First, make sure that the latch is flipped up. And then insert the cable straight in. This line should be parallel to the latch when it's properly inserted. And then flip the latch down to lock it in place. And now I'll do the same with the other side. And now I'll set the keyboard in place. Reinstall the small trackpad ribbon cable and close the latch. Install the larger keypad ribbon cable and then close the latch on it. The last thing is reconnect the battery cable. The last thing to do is to snap the keyboard into place. Press firmly all around the outside, right above the trackpad, and in the middle in front of the screen. Replace the 13 screws in the bottom of the Chromebook. You can just put the rubber inserts back in and they should stick.